What up, YouTubers? Today, we got for you another Halo Reach map premiere, or Halo Reach showcase, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. And, um, this is brought to you by the all-knowing A7 Foot Sasquatch and his trusty companion, Up One Day Trio. What's up, guys? Back here again. And without my mom coming in and interrupting our video, this is the second take. And so, as you can see, it is infection. But this infection is not your normal style of infection, it's more of a survival infection. So as you can see, everybody here is using assault rifles. They're all, they were all just gunning down the guy with the assault rifle. Um, you do not spawn with power weapons, you have to find them. There's, there's medium weapons like the spiker, stuff like that. There's weapons like the rocket launcher, and of course the trusty shotgun that you can find. And there is transportation, so you can see there was a mongoose that I picked up at the beginning of the video. There is another mongoose and a ghost. The ghost isn't too terribly effective on this map, but you can use it. There is um, stationary turret up here that you can tear off. Stationary rocket hog right here that you can use to bombard the beach as long as you have cover from your allies. Otherwise, you're probably just going to get killed. And the uh, the zombies they do spawn anywhere in the map initially. They do spawn right above the cave where you saw us humans walking out of. But after they get killed the first time, the zombies, they spawn anywhere in the map. Anywhere and everywhere. But it, thanks to Reach's uh, spawning system, they never spawn right next to you. They always spawn a little ways away, but of course, you don't know where they're coming from. The inspiration for that was from Halo 1's mission Keys. And if you've played that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The Flood, they come from everywhere. They're always up high, down low. They're jumping at you from inside the walls of the ship or on top of cliffs or coming out from pools of like water or liquid or whatever that stuff was on that mission. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of the same feel I wanted to give here is that, you, you know, you don't really know where your enemy's coming from. Sort of survival status. And here's where I fail with the ghost. I see Henry and I start freaking out. Can't drive, and I get killed. Actually, I was all that affecting you. Yeah, I said. Of course, Carlos no. is um, inactive. Of course, he's not actually inactive. He's just being a fool and waiting for somebody. <laughs> yeah, he's being an asshole. Yeah, you can see some of the zombies starting to fool around. Um, I also forgot to mention though, the zombies, since they are technically flood, they do get plasma pistols. So they're not too terribly overpowered, but that is enough for humans, like, to make the humans want to walk around and avoid the, uh, shots. As... <laughs> it's enough to make, want, want the humans to, like, you know, not just camp in one spot. They actually have to avoid the, hu the human, or the zombies' shots. Yeah, definitely. And this, um, this map, like you are saying, um, with the inspiration coming from Keys and the Flood, they're not really flat, but the zombies, you know, coming from in different directions and coming from the high parts of the map, definitely really got to sell a thing. It really does work really well in this map, you know. You'll find yourself being freaked out a lot by having a zombie creep up on you from where you didn't even know he was. So, definitely a really cool aspect of the map. There's a really little bit of lag right here on my screen. Um, yeah. As you can see here, I totally took the humans by surprise, but I only killed one person, unfortunately. <laughs> That's another thing, you know, you'll find yourself surprising the humans because they... People who first play this map, you know, they don't expect to see zombies right away. So they'll just be duping around and all of a sudden zombies just rain on the sky, from, from them on the skies. It's pretty funny. <laughs> um, and yeah, I mean, this, this style of map is definitely different from normal infection maps. Because a normal infection maps, they're usually close quarters, everybody gets a shotgun, everybody camps in a corner, and you get to sit there and shoot zombies with your shotgun until you run out of shotgun shells. And personally, I hate that style of gameplay for infection. I just, I don't like it. I think it's kind of stupid, you know. I want the real zombie apocalypse feel where, you know, you're, you have basic weaponry, but if you want to survive, you're going to have to go out and you're going to have to find yourself better weapons and find yourself some place to, to set up camp. All that good stuff. I don't know that I already owned an assault rifle. I apparently have none of that. But, yeah, definitely, you know, it's definitely a really good aspect. Of you know of the map just because you know I don't really I'm with Jake I really I really don't care for the whole idea 
of just firing the shotgun and just going all close quarters combat or having a pistol or just has to be every zombie for across the map. And as you can tell, we do have we do have pistols. However, um, headshots are turned off for the zombies, so you cannot headshot them, which really does kind of help. So it definitely does not overpower against the zombies. Adds a nice little gameplay perspective. Oh, oh, is this the part where I get flooded by tons of zombies? This might be it. I can see all the zombies <laughs> coming in and somebody's firing off their plasma pistol shot. And this guy finally spots me. <laughs> He's all being sneaky. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I feel so bad, but I feel so awesome at the same time. <laughs> Yeah, you can see right there the zombies were dropping down from the rocks and they're all flooding in from the beach now. That's where they spawned this time. Some other zombies came in through the uh, through the through the Fort Locks area, and this is the part where I get overran by a horde of zombies. They all just <laughs> rush in there at once and kill me. And then of course the trusty Carlos yeah. is once again at his spawn. I said, yeah, don't be a crow in this map. You know, have person. a good time. Don't go off and wait at the spawn just so you can, you know, be last man standing. <laughs> don't be that person. Don't be a crow. Um, because yeah, that's what he likes doing. He thinks he's a genius, and that once we figure out his plan, we just go over there and kill him. Oh, this is the part where he didn't. He well, first he we was got, actually first, away. First, we got tea back him. He was away for a little while, so we're all doing a zombie orgy over here. <laughs> oh man. It's a dinosaur attack. A dinosaur rave. <laughs> Dinosaurs rave. Oh crap. Yeah, definitely a fun time on this map. We've had definite plenty of uh plenty of fun times just messing around. Um the recommended amount of players I'd say would be I don't know, at least six people. And make if you're having six people then one zombie would do it. But any greater than that I'd start you out with uh two zombies. So you can play this with four, but it just doesn't—it just doesn't work as well unless you have at least like six or seven people playing. Yeah. In this map, you know, once again, it just really is a different kind of gameplay perspective, but it still works really well. You know, you can have a fun time playing some some friends. You know, it's not—it's not one of those maps where you get super competitive and say, "Oh, well, you know what? You suck because I got this many kills more than you." And it's not like that. It's more of just who can survive longest. Mm. So. Yeah, somebody's still gonna find yeah, an no. excuse to say that though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course they will. Oh uh, yeah. I, um, I missed it on camera, but I totally killed somebody with a pistol. <laughs> really? Booyah. <yeah. laughs> oh, and I died. Yeah, you know, yeah. The plasma pistol isn't too terribly effective, but it's definitely enough to get the humans like moving around and trying to avoid the shots, because most humans they like to stand on little high ledges and you know make fun of the zombies, but. If all the zombies start shooting at you with plasma pistol shots, then you're probably going to want to get down and try to avoid their shots. So, <laughs> kind of helps out. Yeah. Carlos is lagging. I'm just going to stand here. Um, and yeah. Like, another thing is, is you can't really camp that well in this map because on very various other infection maps, you know, the zombies will horn up and they'll end up following each other, and one of them will most likely know where you're at, and you'll end up having around six or seven zombies. Going after one guy, so try to move around a bit more rather than staying inside a cave like Jake was and being immediately overran. So, <laughs> yeah, that was a nice example of a short term right there. It only worked for a little while, and then I got flooded and killed. <laughs> um, so yeah, that would that would pretty much sum up the map. Nice little uh, survival infection map. You can see the humans right here that are actually staying together survived, but they're all starting to break apart now. Got one of them. Yeah, see a perfect example right there. His buddy ditched him off for the friggin' grenade launcher. I think that might even be Henry. No, that's Carlos. Carlos ditched everybody else, and so, you know, they got killed. <laughs> Blame Carlos. <laughs> the last man standing. See, perfect example right here. He's standing up high thinking that nobody could get him, but we all started shooting at him, so he had to hop down, and that was his demise. And he eventually gets killed. Right there. Perfect example of uh, why the plasma pistols come in handy. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that would um, that pretty much be it, unless Henry has something else to add. Oh no, I'm good. Infection. All right, yeah. all right, guys. Well, uh, go ahead and hit that like button.
hit subscribe. Go ahead and uh, check out some of our other videos. We got other stuff for you. If you guys ever need help on Minecraft or Halo Reach, don't be afraid to give us a ring a ding and we'll see what we can do. And ring a ding ding. Ring a ding ding dong. <laughs> and man, I remember that commercial. That commercial sucks. <laughs> so I will catch you guys in a later video. Make sure to get this map and its corresponding game type. See you guys later. Talk to you guys later.